After the previous glitch in the matrix which implied that we were good, you'll be pleased to know, normal service has resumed. Hi there folks and welcome back to Sons of the Rock, this is episode 19, I'm Nick from Sonic FM and today, two games coming up, both in the league, first off at home to our broth and then away to Queen of the South. And I did say if we were going to be challenging at the top of the league we would come back for the Ross County game instead, but you can probably tell, we're not challenging at the top of the league. Since yesterday things have not gone brilliantly, to put it mildly. Um, we left off with a 2-1 win over Airdrie, good win for us, we then lost our next four games. We lost 1-0 to Dundee, it was quite a close game to be fair, but 1-0 to Dundee, then demolished 3-1 by Hamilton, 4-2 by Dunfermline, and then 2-0 by Inverness. The only person scoring goals in that run, Michael Dungana, getting one against Hamilton and two against Dunfermline. Now in fairness, Throughout this little run, I did experiment with a couple of different tactics. Uh, after the Dundee game, set up a counter-attacking tactic, because that's what the board want. And I switched to that during the Hamilton game. Didn't really work. Then switched back to our normal tactic for the start of the Dunfermline game. We went 2-0 down. Um... Switched the tactic, sorry, we went 1-0 down, switched the tactic about a bit to a uh, 2 3 one gig impress. We then went 2-0 down, we just weren't playing well under that tactic, switched back to the normal uh, tactic, we pulled two goals back, and then we just lost. We were going, we were going all out and attacking towards the end, and they scored a couple of late goals. And in the Inverness game, I thought, we're away from home against a better team, I'll try out the counter-attacking tactic from the start and switch back to normal tactic in the second half because it was horrendous and we were getting beat 2-0. We're back to our normal tactics for today and we need to start trying to pick up some wins. I'm hoping this is just, you know sometimes you get in Football Manager you, you get that little run over a month or so where you just don't get the results. I'm really hoping that's what that is or that it's just a promotion momentum's run out and we can now just start to try and play normally as a championship team and see where we end up. All of that leaves the table looking like this. We're currently in 7th place, 14 points from 12 games. We are still 4 points clear of 9th place and 9 points clear of Queen of the South, so we're not in too much trouble. Both the teams at the bottom are the teams that we play today. So I'm not overly concerned yet with our league position, as I said at the start of the season, if we can finish ninth or above, I'll be happy with that. Finish eighth or above, that's a bonus. So I'm not overly worried. I would ideally like to finish the season somewhere round about, well, ideally promoted, but somewhere round about kind of mid table ish, you know, sixth, seventh ish, where we, roughly where we are just now. Ideally like to finish there and then that will allow us, give us a bit of extra cash from prize money and allow us to then start trimming some of the dead wood and bring in better quality players for next season. Um, I mean, there's players that are coming up on the player development messages and in inbox and it's saying that they're now a leading star for a League One team and that's not good enough. We're a championship team now, we need championship calibre players. Even when we're scouting, it's still League One players that are coming up, you know, players that are good League One players, potential to be good championship players in the future. And they're in their late 20s. So that is going to be a big thing towards the latter half of the season and then in, next, in the transfer window is just getting rid of some of the dead wood and trying to bring in better quality players. All that being said, if you look at the goal scoring charts, Michael Dangana is still top on nine goals. Coslin's still in there tied second on five goals. And Coslin's there on three assists. You know, we have decent players. And Michael Dangana, if I remember correctly, is out of contract at the end of this season. So we might look to try and bring him in permanently. Uh, we do have a player in on trial at the moment, a forward. Kieran Phillips, 22-year-old English forward, 
Currently showing his four and a half star ability with five star potential at 22. So once we've got the full measure of his abilities, I'm going to be taking a look at him and seeing if he's somebody that I want to bring in uh, permanently. Potentially as a replacement for Dangana if we can't get him permanently, just as an extra forward. He's not played a lot of football. Originally at Everton, went on loan to Huddersfield, didn't play for them. Signed for Huddersfield on a free, scored two goals in three appearances in the 2021 season, then didn't play for them after that. I'm going to assume he was in their youth, their youth team, their under 23s. But even if we look at that, so last season, and what I'm assuming is the under 23s, he had nine goals from 14 starts. Uh, the season that he scored two and three in the Premier in the Championship, he had another six goals from fifteen starts. The year he was on loan, he didn't play at all, and he didn't play at all for Everton in any of the teams. So he does get goals, but as I say, once we've got his full statistics, we'll have a look at them properly and see. We want to bring him in. Showing that he's best position as, as a left winger. Which also could be a good thing. Because we've got a player on loan out there. And it's a player that I don't think we're going to be bringing in permanently. So he could be somebody that we can bring in as cover across the midfield. Attacking midfield and up front. As I said, once we get the full stats, I'll have a look at him better. And if we sign him, I'll let you know. But nothing else to report from in between games. Um, in fact, tell a lie, we've got a couple of injuries. So Christensen, I can't remember if you saw that he didn't picked up an injury. He's going to be out for about another two weeks. Then Govia get an injury as well. He's going to be out for about five weeks. Which is leaving us with a bit of an issue at left back. And this is how we're solving it today. So this is the team for the game against our broth. We have Zabra Ingles. Wardrobe's coming in at left back. Uh, switching him to an inverted wing back. Could play Katongo out there. Started him the last game and he finished on a 5.9 at half time before I took him off. So Wardrop's going to start out there today, see how he does. We've got McGeever and Crichton in midfield, uh, in midfield, in the centre of defence with Gulilli on the right. Kirkpatrick and Bandera in midfield. Henderson and Frizzell, the wide players behind McCausland and Dangana up front. Kick off time. And we had a good result against a broth. Away from home last time, we beat them 4-0. We're at home this time, so hopefully we can get an equally as good result. Although, in the first 15 minutes, it seems to have been all our growth according to the match stats, but the throw-in is nodded on by McCausland. And Ghana looked as if he was fouled there. The referee did not give anything. It's with Bandera in midfield. He's given it to Gilhilly. Gets back from him, plays the ball into Dangana. Dangana feeds Henderson in ahead, and Henderson's shot is saved. He can't get on to the rebound to play it back into the box. It goes for a goal kick. Half an hour in now, and we have a free kick. Henderson to take it. He plays it forward to the box. It was over the heads of everybody and straight to the goalkeeper. Not the greatest of free kicks. But Wardrobe does well. Up the kick out from the goalkeeper. It's forward for Dangana now. Dangana's in at the edge of the box. He really should have scored there. He took far too long over the ball. One touch too many. And the defender and the goalkeeper were able to smother him pick up the ball. Highlight for a broth now. Throwing from Wild on the left hand side. Coming down the left hand side now with it. Ball's played into the box and Ewan is able to get up there and head home for his sixth goal of the season. Make it 1-0 to our broth. Certainly looks like our promotion momentum has ran out. And I thought it lasted all season as well. I mean he just unmarked it. He gets away from McGeever. And McGeever was fantastic for his last season. I think he's another one of these players that might have found his level. Because he's been okay without being spectacular this season. Right, I expect to see a much better showing in the second half. Bandera is having an absolute shocker. He's on a 6.0. He's going to be coming off. He's on the ball now and loses it to Hughes. It's our broth coming forward with it now. And they've managed to get through again. Stuart with the shot. Zabra 
think gets a hand to it. He does yet a rather acrobatic save from him. But made the save nonetheless, and the header from the corner is held by him. Going from Wardrobe to McCausland. Gets it back. Wardrobe now he's cut inside. Plays in Kirkpatrick. Patrick feeds Dangana through and Michael Dangana gets his 12th goal of the season and levels things up for us. What I am going to do now is take Bandera off because he's on a 5.9. And do we bring Carswell or Williamson on there? You know what, I'm going to bring Carswell on. I mean Kirkpatrick, we played well together last season. But our both have a highlight straight from the kickoff now. It's all the way back to the goalkeeper. Coslin trying to press the goalkeeper into a mistake and he's done well from dogs barking outside. Uh, Wardle plays a ball in from McCausland. But it's with our broth coming forward now. Brighton picks up the ball at the back. He plays it forward for Dangana. Dangana can't get the head on it and it's with our broth again on the left hand side. It's played forward for Ewan. And Carswell does well to intercept the pass. It's with Frizzell now. This time Dang Gana has been found with the pass forward. He gets into the box. And this time, yeah. Penalty this time. Penalty should have had one earlier. Got one this time though. And it's going to be Henderson to step up and take it. And he scores. 2-1. It's first goal of the season for Ewan Henderson. I would have expected him to maybe have done a bit better. Another interruption. Because my neighbours can't control their dogs. Uh... Just see the replay there for Henderson scoring the penalty. Like I said, first goal of the season for him, but done well now to come back and take lead 2-1 in this game. Uh, 65th minute now, and it's with Crichton at the back. He plays it forward for Frizzell. Frizzell's having a decent game today, although that pass is horrendous. And it allows our broth to try and play out from the back. Carswell with a great tackle there. He's on a yellow card, so he does need to be careful. But he's done well to pressure our both into having to play the ball back. It's coming forward again for them now. And it's with the goal scorer Ewan out to Wild. He gets into the edge of the box. And Gilhulli with a perfectly timed challenge to pick up the ball from him. His clearance finds Dangana but he loses out. But the ball is now back with Frizzell. He's played over the top and Dangana's got onto the end of it this time. He's through on the goal. And when he gets in that position you know he's not missing. 13th goal of the season for Michael Dangana. 3-1 now. Excellent comeback. What I'm going to do just after this highlight is we see Dangana just using his strength and pace to go onto the ball and fires it across the goalkeeper into the far corner. What I'm going to do now is make a couple of changes. Um, Carswell's on a yellow card and I did bring him on for Bandera. I don't want to take him off. Um, so what I think we'll do instead then is actually nothing. I was going to take Frizzell off and bring Afalayan on. But you know what? I'm not going to do anything at the minute. I'm just going to let things play out. A corner now for our broth. Headed in. And how did that go in? It's gone down as an own goal against Sam Wardrope. See it again. The ball comes in. Hamilton gets up with the header. I think Zabra gets a fingertip on it onto the bar and it just bounces down and comes off Wardrobe's leg. I don't think he knew too much about it, to be fair. We come into the final 10 minutes and Henderson is tiring, so we're going to get Lions on for him. Just looking at everybody else. I think McCausland will take him off and bring Alpha Lion on for the final. Uh, few minutes of the game. We have a highlight while all that's happening though. I forgot to pause it. And it's our broth coming forward with it. Nesbitt's in brilliant tackle from Gilhilly. And Frizzell has picked up the loose ball. It's with Carswell now. Gives it back to Frizzell. Frizzell back inside to Carswell who plays the ball over the top and Dangana's got onto it. He gets past one man as he cuts inside. He feeds Henderson in and Henderson with the shot Looks as if he scuffed his shot a little bit and mishit it, but almost came off. Not quite in the end, though, as we come into added time. We've got five minutes of added time, and we're into the second of those. It's with McGeever at the back. Ball forward from Crichton. Both Dangana and 
I've brought Williamson on instead of Alpha Lion. Although Williamson's fed Dangana through. I was just about to pause the game and go and try and fix my mistake. Never mind. Williamson picks up the ball, plays Dangana in ahead of him. Dangana scores 4 2. Maybe Williamson's going to. is the pressing forward that we need. Because he's just come on the park and created an assist in a position where he doesn't play. Can he play there? No, he can play in the attacking midfield, but he can't. He's not a striker. So after that result, that moves us up to sixth place. So not too bad at the moment. But let's go and play Queen of the South now and see if we can increase that gap even more. All right, we're back now with the team for the game against Queen of the South. That is as follows. Zabrit, Ingles, Wardrop, Meggett, McGeever and Gilhulley at the back. Patrick and Williamson in midfield. Henderson and McCausland are the wide players with Affelion and Dingana up front. Game is underway. And a victory here depending, in fact, from Fermanagh aren't playing today, so a win here can potentially move us up to fifth place depending on goal difference. But 20 minutes into the game, nothing really happening so far. And it looks like it's a corner now for Queen of the South. Played in, and Queen of the South score from a corner. When we have McGeever and Megat at the back. Both of them should be winning that easily. But we did go 1-0 down against uh, our both in the last game. And we come back to a rather convincing win. So not too concerned yet. As a throw-in comes to Dangana. He plays a ball into the box. But Affalion unable to get an end of it. Kirkpatrick picks up the clearance though. Into Henderson. He plays it to Williamson. Williamson to McCausland. Forward to Dangana. Dangana... Just wasting time with it, but it's through now for McCausland. And Ross McCausland grabs his seventh goal of the season. Lovely little pass there from Affalion for McCausland to go on the end of it. I thought Dangana was going to go into the end of it, and it looked as if he was in an offside position. We'll see again. I think Dangana was wanting to play McCausland through, but just took too long. Dangana would have been fine uh, getting on that pass. Nevertheless, McCausland got into it, levelled the scores, 1-0 now. And as I say, McCausland and Dangana scoring goals, although McCausland seems to score more from the right-hand side than he does as a striker. So pretty quick first half, pretty drab first half. Um, I'm happy with the performance so far, just keep it up, see if we can't go and grab a winning goal. Keep an eye on fitness and performances, uh, and time as well. We might have to switch to attacking. What I think I might have to do is Kirkpatrick fires in a free kick and McCausland's there with the header and it's off the post. Comes back off the keeper but just bounces back out into the box. So often you see those go back in off the keeper. Not this time though. Right, an hour into the game. And what I was going to say is what I think I might have to do is take Dangana off because he's having a shocker. So we'll bring Frizzell on and we'll move McCausland up top. You can play as advanced forward. You can stay as pressing forward. That's fine. And looking down the line a little bit. Patrick's not having a great game. But I'm going to leave him for now. Give him another 10 minutes. See how he does. And we're going to demand a bit more from the team. And we're going to switch to attacking. And as we do that we get a highlight. Roll, ball rolls all the way through to Zabra. Throws it out now to Gilhuli on the right. He attempts a big ball forward for McCausland, but it's cut out by the defence. Frizzell does well to get back and win that. They say now to Kirkpatrick, his ball over the top does find McCausland this time. McCausland's on the right-hand side of the box. Plays it into the middle, looking for half a line, but it's headed clear. It's with Kirkpatrick. Gives out to Wardrobe and gets it back. Wardrobe with it again. Henderson to half a line. Half a line, shot's blocked. Still have the ball, though. Kirkpatrick has it. He gives it to Henderson this time. Into half line, out to Williamson. Passing the ball amongst themselves really nice without actually doing anything with it until Jordan Kirkpatrick, with that left foot of his, decides to take matters into his own hands and rifles it into the bottom corner. First goal of the season for Jordan Kirkpatrick. He's not started a lot of games, to be fair. 
but that's what we like to see when he starts. It's that left foot of his just absolutely ripping the back of the net with the ball. And there I was considering taking him off to. Uh, 70th minute, and it's another highlight. Forward from McGeever, Henderson manages to get onto it. It's a poor pass, but Henderson does well to get it. It's out wide now to Frizzell. Frizzell gets a ball into the box, but it just misses everybody and goes all the way through for Wardle. Wardle bin for Henderson. Henderson's offside. I've just realised. I've not switched Frizzell back to inside forward. I've now. Yeah, Henderson clearly offside there. Good ball in from Wardrop. On his weaker foot too. And a good finish from Henderson. Just unfortunate. He was a couple of yards offside. Free kick now for Queen of the South. Just on the edge of the box. Played in, but the wall does its job. Manages to block it. And then comes back out to Pibus. Who realises, oh, it's Gregor Zabra in goals. I can hit, shoot from anywhere and it'll go in. How? Who is this? Not let me click on it. Whoever that was should have been closing them down a bit quicker. Right, we're switching to very attacking and I'm demanding more for the final five minutes. To each as things stand. Keeps us in sixth place. And I think that's how it's going to end. Is indeed. So at the end of the episode then, things look like this. We're in sixth place, 18 points from 14 games. We're still only three points off of the, of the playoff places. So that's not out with the realms of possibility. As I said, that's not the aim. The aim is just to try and stay in a kind of mid-table position. Avoid the relegation battles. If we get any higher than that, then I'm not going to complain, obviously. That would be excellent. But the expectation is this kind of mid-table finish. Right, Tim, in the next episode, I was initially going to come back and show you the third third round of the Scottish Cup, but we're playing Cumbernauld Colts. Don't think there's much point in showing that game. So what I think we'll do is we will come back for the Hamilton and Inverness games. Yeah, we'll come back to Hamilton and Inverness. And that'll be in the next episode. And that wraps up episode number 19. I said during the episode that we're going to be looking towards the end of the year to trim some deadwood. Let me know in the comments what players you think we should be letting go. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any videos going forward. And as always, thank you very much for watching.